Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 716. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 715 to 721. And this trick here, we need the max value, and we could use the max function, but the max of all these would give us zero. And we really want the absolute, we want to find the absolute value and then find the max. I have this right now, the absolute, absolute value just means the distance from zero. So negative five and five have the same absolute value, five. All right, I'm going to F9 this. Right now, I'd still, this would be the, I would want six here. If I F9 it, uh, it would be 8 because that's the biggest absolute value. But here, I'd want this 10. So we have to somehow uh, decipher between positive and negatives and really seeing the absolute value. Well, there's an equals ABS function. ABS just gives you the absolute value. So let's go like this, equals max. Now, if I hit uh, just enter max right here, it'll find the maximum value, right? So 6, if I F9. What we really want here is 5, and it's showing us 3 because the max considers minus 5 smaller than 3. No problem, we'll just use the ABS. ABS. ABS is expecting a single number here. We're giving it a range or an array of values. So as a result, when we enter this formula, we're entering, uh, we have to enter it as an array formula. So we hold Control Shift and Enter. When you control shift enter, you'll see that the formula gets entered and there's curly brackets. Now, when we control shift enter, that's us, the Excel user, saying, hey, Excel, this is an array formula. Those curly brackets are Excel signaling to you, hey, I understand that this is an array formula that's entered as an array. And you could see now this works. If I hit F9, we get a 9. Now we get a 6. All right, we'll see you next trick.